Hello you guys and welcome to my baby girl's nursery tour. Come on in and I will show you around. decor and things like that I really really wanted like a vintage baby inspired look so I wanted like a lot of brassy golds um, kind of like off-white furniture okay so before I show you guys around I wanted to first give you like a little update because I am 38 weeks exactly today so we are like two weeks give or take out um, but anyway I wanted to do this before I give birth to her because I'm just so excited about this video because if you didn't know we actually built this room from the ground up. We did a vlog on it. I'll link it below in the description box. But anyway, this has been a long time coming, but let me show you guys around. Okay, so this is her, obviously, a little changing station. We have the diaper genie here, um, her changing pad, of course, and then I actually got these little drawer organizers, I think is what they're called, from Ikea. I just put like a couple newborn diapers in here, some baby rash cream or diaper rash cream, an applicator, some wipes just for easy access. And then I'll go ahead and show you guys what I did with her drawers because I got more of these from Ikea and these are like a lifesaver. If you are in the midst of decorating a nursery or organizing, definitely um, check these out. I'll link them in the description box below. So first and foremost, these are all of her newborn outfits. And this is just kind of like everyday pieces that you know she'll wear when we're just lounging around the house. So these are all footy PJs, like all of her sleepers, um, onesies, long sleeve onesies, and then newborn pants. So I wanted that just up here in the front for easy access since she will be, you know, in newborns sizing for quite a while. Um, and then, and then I have to show you guys this. So this was actually mine when I was a baby. Um, super cute sentimental I definitely want to like get pictures of her in this this winter but I just wanted it on display because it's like vintage baby and it just I don't know it makes me really happy <laughs> so then in the second one there's a little bit of everything going on in here so a lot of her clothing is in storage like basically anything newborn anything zero to three above zero to three we put in storage just that way. You know, obviously her nursery is small and I didn't want like just a ton of clothes. I just kind of wanted what I would use within like the first month or two. So this bin right here is all of her um, bibs, socks. I think I even have a pair of tights in here, mittens, and then just extra binky clips. And then this is her outlet um, and the camera duo. We haven't set that up yet, but we'll probably get to that this week extra hangers, her sizers, and then just these little um, like milestone monthly photo cards. So there is that. And then in this third drawer is her um, three months. So three month gowns and then three month sleepers and then just three month, um, just kind of like everyday pieces, like little tops, things like that, some extra onesies. So that's just kind of like everyday wear. This may be like my favorite piece of her nursery and it's this little clothing rack. I love it because it's kind of like short. So when she is a little bit older, she can like use it for dress up or even just use it to get dressed herself. So these are her more like fancy outfits. Like if we're not lounging around the house all day and we like want to take her out and want her to look kind of cutesy, um, these are the outfits kind of designated for that. So. I just have newborn from here on and then zero to three. So just little outfits like this that, you know, I'm obviously not going to put her in when we're just at home, but if I want her to look, you know, kind of cute. Um, so cute. I just love newborn clothing, by the way. Like this is her swimsuit, you guys. So tiny. So anyway, moving along, um, this is her crib, obviously. And I love this because I felt like this was like the cherry on top of just like the vintage vibe that I wanted. It kind of like tied everything together. So like the little additional, you know, woodwork down here at the bottom. So the floral swag, I just felt like kind of, you know, tied in the blushy pinks that I wanted and it wasn't too much white on white. 
So I did stick with a lot of pink with her bedding, as you can see. Um, I'll have you come over here, babe. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. But I want to show you guys her crib skirt, and it's so cute. It's like tulle. So I forgot to mention, too, whenever I was, like, doing a mood board for her nursery, I, like, totally did that. I felt, like, so extra, but whatever. Um, I just wanted, like, pinks, bunnies, and ballerinas. <laughs> I know it's a lot. But um, the tulle skirt, like, really kind of highlighted that, like, ballerina feel that I wanted. Um, and I just love it. I think it's really perfect. So, um, and then her crib... <laughs> Her crochet, I love. It's obviously like the perfect shade of pink and it's got the bunnies going on and then obviously this little quilt and pillow I just thought was really cute. Love you to the moon and back. Again, we're not gonna keep this in here when we transition her to the crib. Um, and then I just like wanted a little personal touch and of course I added this like little silky blanket with her name. Okay, so the prints I loved. I got these from Hobby Lobby as well. I loved the gray, you know, I felt like I needed like an off collar because everything's so gold and pink and cream. And then obviously the bunny and the baby deer, I just thought it was really cute. So, and then this is like the most sentimental piece here. This rocker was my husband's and his mom rocked all three of her babies in this, including my husband. So of course, when she asked me if I wanted it, I was like, yes, I love it. I'm, you know, so sentimental by nature anyway. So I just love this and I can't wait to rock my baby girl in it as well. So this piece means a, a lot to me. And then um, I wanted just like a little side table, end table type thing. So when we do transition her in here and I'm in here for feedings or something, I have a little table to like sit a bottle down or, you know, like my water bottle if I'm breastfeeding her and whatnot. So I have her little humidifier here. Eventually we'll have her sound machine and her outlet and all of that stuff. But that's currently in our bedroom. I'll probably do a video on that as well. Just how we like prepped our bedroom for, you know, her first night stay and the next several months that she'll be in the bedroom with us. So this is this little corners situation right here. And then right here, um, this is her hamper. So it's full of like a bunch of extra stuff. Um, so I need to go through that, but this is her little hamper. And then this is her air purifier slash um, nightlight. I thought that thing was so cool. And then of course, um, whenever we were building this, I definitely, you know, like I said, wanted to stick with like the brassy gold because I felt like that was the vintage vibe I was going for. So I actually found these on Amazon and I'll link them below. And then um, when I was in Home Goods one day, I found this mirror and I was like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. I wanted something like above here. So like we can take little mirror selfies together. I know it's so extra, but I don't care. So I did want like a little area in her bedroom designated kind of like for reading. So, I mean, there's a lot going on here as you can see, but um, these shelves are awesome. You can actually get similar ones like this from Ikea, but I actually got mine from Walmart for like 20 bucks each. Like I said, I'll link it down below. Um, but anyway, they actually hold quite a bit of storage. So I have her little golden book collection over here and I loved golden book, golden back books as a kid. And so I definitely wanted those for my little girl. And these are all vintage. So we got some bunnies going on over here. And then this is her like headwear, little extra hats, all of her muslin swaddles. This is her shoes. Um, and then over here, some additional books as well. And we got some of her like thin swaddles right here. These are kind of more thicker blankets for winter, um, kind of more like stroller blankets. And then right here, just like her little toys and teethers. And then these are all of her um, swaddles and sleep sacks. And then these are just additional wraps and um, little things like that. But um, I loved this as well. So like I said, the ballerina theme, I kind of wanted to like tie into it. And I actually found this idea on Pinterest and I just thought it was really, really sweet and kind of tied in that like brassy gold that I was going for. So I wanted to display like some of her slippers. So, um, and this will be for her jewelry. This is her first piece of jewelry, you guys. I just have to show you because it is so tiny. So, and then of course her little headband stand. And then um, this is just really sweet. This is obviously her first ultrasound picture. And then, um, I felt like this corner needed something because it was still pretty white. So I actually found these on Amazon and they were part of my baby shower decorations. <laughs> so 
I, um, they're just like little sticky backs, super easy, they won't damage your wall. So I was like, you know what, I have extra ones, I'm gonna try them, and I just thought it looked really cute in this corner. I wanted it to be super whimsical since it is like her little reading nook. And then I loved these little command hooks. You can actually find these at Walmart, I'll link them below. I just thought they were really, really girly. I didn't want just like basic white ones. I wanted something that was like a little more upscale, a little more girly. So um, her little growth chart, which obviously she won't use this for a while, but I just thought it was really cute. This is her little dedication outfit. This is actually her daddy's diaper bag. He has his own and he's very excited about it. Hers is currently in my bedroom. Um, but yeah, I just wanna show you guys these hooks because I thought it was really cute and they actually hold up um, really well. So I was really surprised. All right, you guys, so that pretty much concludes my baby girl's nursery tour. I hope you guys loved it. If you are um, in the midst of decorating your nursery as well, let me know in the comments below. Um, I love watching these videos personally. I think they're super fun and I love seeing other mamas, you know, styles come to life and their visions and all that stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely like and subscribe um, and follow us along for more related content. And yeah, thank you guys.